Jewish Renewal Hebrew, thou yaudit translate, hichideshet yehudit, is a recent movement in Judaism which endeavors to reinvigorate modern Judaism with Kabbalistic, Hasidic, and musical practices. Specifically, it seeks to reintroduce the "...ancient Judaic traditions of mysticism and meditation, gender equality and ecstatic prayer," to synagogue services. It is distinct from the Baal Teshuva movement of return to Orthodox Judaism. Overview The term Jewish renewal describes, "...a set of practices within Judaism that attempt to reinvigorate what it views as a moribund and uninspiring Judaism with mystical, Hasidic, musical and meditative practices drawn from a variety of traditional and untraditional, Jewish and other, sources." In this sense, Jewish renewal is an approach to Judaism that can be found within segments of any of the Jewish denominations. The term also refers to an emerging Jewish movement, the Jewish Renewal Movement, which describes itself as a worldwide, transdenominational movement grounded in Judaism's prophetic and mystical traditions. The Jewish Renewal Movement incorporates social views such as egalitarianism, environmentalism, and pacifism. About the movement, Jewish Renewal Rabbi Rachel Berenblatt writes, Renewal is an attitude, not a denomination. Adherents of renewal come from all of the branches of Judaism. Renewal places emphasis on direct spiritual experience, and values accessibility over insularity. Renewal is a grassroots, transdenominational approach to Judaism which seeks to revitalize Judaism by drawing on the immanence consciousness of feminism, the joy of Hasidism, the informed do-it-yourself spirit of the Havura movement, and the accumulated wisdom of centuries of tradition. We strive to imbue Judaism with an ecumenical, egalitarian, and post-triumphalist sensibility, to create innovative, accessible, and welcoming worship, to shape halakha Jewish law into a living way of walking righteously, and to deepen the ongoing, joyful, and fundamental connection with God that's at the heart of Jewish practice. Jewish Renewal Rabbi Barbara Thede writes, Jewish Renewal will joyfully embrace music, meditation, chant, yoga, and storytelling in the practice of Judaism. Jewish Renewal reads Torah as our deepest challenge and our most precious gift. Jewish Renewal is about learning the why and not just the how. It's about plumbing the very depths of why so that we can hear our private and godly voices of truth. Ideas, texts, tradition, Jewish understanding laced together in a sweet web of life so clearly that I could unpack the teaching as easily as I could unzip a boot. The movement's most prominent leader was Zalman Shakhtar Shalomi. Other leaders, teachers and authors associated with Jewish renewal include Arthur Vosko, Michael Lerner, Rachel Berenblatt, David Marcus, Terza Firestone, Phyllis Berman, Shefa Gold, David Ingber, and Marsha Prager. Jewish renewal brings Kabbalistic and Hasidic theory and practice into a non-Orthodox, egalitarian framework, a phenomenon sometimes referred to as Neo-Hasidism. Like Hasidic Jews, renewal Jews often add to traditional worship ecstatic practices such as meditation, chant and dance. In augmenting Jewish ritual, some renewal Jews borrow freely and openly from Buddhism, Sufism and other faiths. History Origins <inaudible> 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 Topic. Jewish renewal, in its most general sense, has its origins in the North American Jewish countercultural trends of the late 1960s and early 1970s. During this period, groups of young rabbis, academics and political activists founded experimental chavorot singular, chavura or fellowships for prayer and study, in reaction to what they perceived as an over-institutionalized and unspiritual North American Jewish establishment. Initially the main inspiration was the Petistic fellowships of the Pharisees and other ancient Jewish sects. Also initially, some of these groups, like the Boston area Havurat Shalom attempted to function as full-fledged communes after the model of their secular counterparts. Others formed as communities within the urban or suburban Jewish establishment. Founders of the Havaro included the liberal political activist Arthur Vosko, Michael Strassfeld who later became rabbi for a conservative congregation and then moved on to serve a major reconstructionist congregation, and Zalman Shakhtar Shalomi. 
Although the leadership and ritual privileges were initially men only, as in Orthodox Jewish practice, the second wave of American feminism soon led to the full integration of women in these communities. Havero Apart from some tentative articles in Response and other Jewish student magazines, the early Havero attracted little attention in the wider North American Jewish community. Then, in 1973, Richard Siegel, and Michael and Sharon Strassfeld released the Jewish catalog, a do-it-yourself kit. Patterned after the Whole Earth Catalog, the book served both as a basic reference on Judaism and American Jewish life, as well as a playful compendium of Jewish crafts, recipes, meditational practices, and political action ideas, all aimed at disaffected young Jewish adults. The Jewish Catalog became one of the best-selling books in American Jewish history to that date and spawned two sequels. A much more widespread Havara movement soon emerged, including self-governing Havara within Reform, Conservative and Reconstructionist synagogues. By 1980 an increasing number of Havara had moved away from strictly traditional Jewish worship practices, as members added English readings and chants, poetry from other spiritual traditions, percussion instruments, and overall a less formal approach to worship. In an interview, published in Zeke in 2012, scholar and folklorist Chava Weisler, who has been a participant observer in both the Havura movement and in Jewish renewal articulated her sense of the differences between Jewish renewal and the Havura movement as it evolved. CW, I often use the following metaphor the Havura movement represents the Misnagdom and the renewal movement, the Hasidim of the Jewish counterculture. The style of the Havura movement is more cognitive, and the style of renewal is more expressive and devotional. Also, the Havura movement has a deep aversion to the Rebbe model, while the renewal movement has seen it as a way into a heightened spirituality. Zeke, the Hasidim, Misnagdim analogy is a fascinating one, though I can see how some folks in the Havura movement might have bones to pick there. CW, especially because we saw ourselves as reinstating Hasidism, or parts of it. Some years ago, a well-known renewal teacher taught at the Havura Institute. I asked him how he felt it compared to the Kala and renewal. And he said, the Havura movement is so unspiritual, it really bothered me. When they have a study class, they go in, open the text, study, close the text and you. Redone. When I teach a class, we sit in silence, we open our hearts to the text, we sing a niggin, we study the text, we process what's happened to us, then we sing another niggin and sit in silence again to receive what we they received. My Havura friends were outraged that he would say the Havura movement isn t spiritual, but it s a different model of spirituality and also of study. Topic: <laughs> Benai or Pnai or. Topic: Zalman Shachter Shalomi, a Hasidic trained rabbi ordained in the Lubavitch movement, broke with Orthodox Judaism beginning in the 1960s, and founded his own organization, the B. Nai or Religious Fellowship, which he described in an article entitled Toward an Order of B. Nai or. Quote dot, quote, B. Nai or means sons or children of light, and was taken from the Dead Sea Scrolls material, where the sons of light battle the sons of darkness. Shakhtar Shalomi envisioned B. Nai or as a semi-monastic ashram-type community, based upon the various communal models prevalent in the 1960s and 1970s. This community never materialized as he envisioned it, but B. Nai or did produce a number of important leaders in the renewal movement. It also produced the B. Nair Newsletter, a quarterly magazine that presented articles on Jewish mysticism, Hasidic stories and Shakhtar Shalomi's philosophy. The masthead of this publication read, B. Nair is a Jewish fellowship established for the service of G.D. through prayer, Torah, celebration, meditation, tradition, and mysticism. We serve as a center to facilitate people in the pursuit of Judaism as a spiritual way of life. Shakhtar Shalomi was strongly influenced by Sufism of Islam and Buddhism, even translating some of the prayers into Hebrew. He also focused more on urban sustainable living than rural culture, and suggested for instance interconnected basements of houses in urban neighborhoods that would create collective space especially for holidays, while providing the level of privacy secular life had encouraged. 
Some of these ideas have influenced urban economics. In 1985, after the first National Kala Conference gathering in Radnor, Pennsylvania, the name was changed from B. Nyar to P. Nye or Faces of Light to reflect the more egalitarian perspective of the rising feminist movement. Together with such colleagues as Arthur Vosco, Shakhtar Shalomi broadened the focus of his organization. In 1993 it merged with the Shalom Center, founded by Vosco, to become Aleph, Alliance for Jewish Renewal. In 1979, Vosco had founded a magazine called Menorah, which explored and encouraged many creative ritual and social issues from a Jewish perspective. It was in this publication that Vosco coined the term, Jewish Renewal. In 1986, Menorah merged with the Benayar newsletter to become New Menorah, now available online through Aleph. The new version of the publication addressed Jewish feminism, the nuclear arms race, new forms of prayer, social justice, etc. Several of the early New Menorah issues explored gay rights, and became an important catalyst for opening this discussion in more mainstream synagogues. The greater cohesion and focus created by B'nai Or, Aleph and its magazine led gradually to the spread of Jewish renewal throughout the United States and, by the close of the century, to the establishment of communities in Canada, Latin America, Europe and Israel. By this time, the beginnings of institutionalization were in place, in the form of the non-profit organization Aleph, Alliance for Jewish Renewal, the Rabbinical Association Ohala, and an increasingly formalized rabbinic ordination program that today is accepted by the National Council of Seminaries which includes the heads of all major non-Orthodox North American rabbinical and cantorial training programs. <laughs> renewal and the contemporary Jewish community Topic. Statistics on the number of Jews who identify themselves as renewal are not readily available. However, the evidence of renewal influence can be found throughout the spectrum of Jewish denominational affiliation and in many diverse other arenas of Jewish life. It is not uncommon for congregations that are not associated with the renewal movement to feature many renewal influences. These include workshops on Jewish meditation and various Judaized forms of yoga which may even be incorporated into religious services. Chanting and healing services have become increasingly common. Many melodies and liturgical innovations have found their way into the Reform, Conservative and Reconstructionist movements. Rabbis and cantors trained by the Aleph Ordination Program, the Jewish Renewal Seminary, have begun to serve congregations with other affiliations and bring renewal-informed influences to these environments. Jewish Renewal is part of the burgeoning world of transdenominational Judaism. The growing number of synagogues, rabbis and prayer groups that eschew affiliation with a Jewish stream. Rabbi Marsha Prager writes, Jewish Renewal is a movement. In the sense of a wave in motion, a grassroots effort to discover the modern meaning of Judaism as a spiritual practice. Jewish renewalists see renewal as a process reaching beyond denominational boundaries and institutional structures, more similar to the multi-centered civil rights or women's movements than to contemporary denominations. Topic: <laughs> Ordination training. Topic. The Aleph ordination program emerged out of Aleph founder Reb Zalman's earlier project of training and ordaining an inner circle of students, many with extensive yeshiva backgrounds, to be inspiring progressive post-denominational community organizers and spiritual leaders. The Aleph ordination program has grown to become the largest rigorous liberal Jewish seminary in North America, comprising four schools. Rabbinic program Rabbinic Pastor Program training Jewish clergy specializing in pastoral care. Cantorial Program Hashpa Program training Jewish spiritual directors. Enrollment in these four programs embraces over 90 students from all denominational backgrounds, from the U.S., Canada, Europe and Israel, who study both locally and through Aleph courses and retreats. The rabbinic students undertake a rigorous academic program comprising a minimum of 60 graduate-level courses and practica covering a comprehensive curriculum of rabbinic education. Cantorial students are masters of liturgy and nusik, traditional and contemporary Jewish music, Western and non-Western traditions, and also fulfill course requirements in Jewish history, philosophy, text, thought and practice. 
Rabbinic pastors are specialists, trained to provide Jewish wisdom, spiritual direction, support, and counseling in chaplaincy and in congregational settings. The Hashpa program offers a three-year concentration in Jewish studies and Jewish spiritual counseling and guidance, leading to certification as Mashpia, spiritual director. Since 1973, more than 200 Jewish renewal spiritual leaders have been ordained through the Aleph ordination program and or its predecessor the B. Nye or P. Nye or ordination program. The Aleph ordination program is unique in its blend of low residency and residential components. Semester-length seminars and courses are offered using state-of-the-art live video conference technology, while winter and summer residential retreats bring students and faculty together as a living learning community for in-depth intensives and practica. AOP offers both a fully accredited Master of Divinity degree and Doctor of Ministry degree in cooperation with New York Theological Seminary NYTS. Details about the curriculum and philosophy of the AOP can be found on the AOP website. Topic. Criticism and response Topic. Topic. New Age Judaism Topic. Critics of Jewish renewal claim that the movement emphasizes individual spiritual experience and subjective opinion over communal norms and Jewish textual literacy. Jewish renewal is sometimes criticized as New Age, touchy feely, and stuck in the 1960s. The Aleph website offers the following response Jewish renewal is sometimes referred to as New Age by people who do not know that meditation, dance, chant, and mysticism have been present in Judaism throughout the ages and not, as some mistakenly believe, patched onto Judaism from other cultures or made up out of whole cloth. Sadly, some of our authentic, time-honored beliefs and practices have been lost to assimilation, leaving many contemporary Jews largely unaware of them. This is a major reason why so many spiritually sensitive Jews have sought spiritual expression in other faith traditions. It is an important part of ALEPH's mission to make the hidden treasures of Judaism known and accessible to these seekers. Topic. Mainstreaming Topic. Many Jewish renewal techniques, ideas, and practices have become mainstream and are now familiar to Jews across the denominations. Three decades after Reb Zalman began reaching out to disenfranchised Jews with a hands-on, mystically inflected, radically egalitarian, liturgically inventive, neo-Chassidic approach, many of the techniques he pioneered—from meditation to describing God in new terms are widely employed in mainstream settings. Despite the prevalence of renewal practices, ideas, and teachings across the denominational spectrum, Jewish renewal is not always known or credited with having originated these teachings and ideas. Our influence is penetrating much deeper into the mainstream, but without acknowledgement," said Rabbi Daniel Siegel. There is still a lot of ignorance and prejudice toward us in other movements. Challenges <laughs> 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 Like all religious movements, the movement faces challenges today. Some within the renewal community maintain that the movement has been more successful in providing occasional ecstatic peak experiences at worship services and spiritual retreats than in inculcating a daily discipline of religious practice. Others have observed a tension within the community between those who prefer to focus on liberal social activism on American, Middle East and global issues, and those who favor an emphasis on meditation, text study and worship. And as a summer 2017 article in the Forward notes, there are tensions within Aleph that have led many of its recent and in particular younger leaders not directly associated with the movement's early years to walk away, preferring to pursue the renewal of Judaism outside that organization. These, together with the challenge of training and recruiting future generations of leaders, are among the issues facing Jewish renewal today. Topic see also topic Neo Hasidism topic References topic topic Further reading topic Michael Lerner, Jewish Renewal, A Path to Healing and Transformation 1994, Zalman Shakhtar Shalomi, Paradigm Shift, From the Jewish Renewal Teachings of Reb Zalman Shakhtar Shalomi 1993, Grosberg, Sholem, Jewish Renewal, A Journey, The Movement's History, Ideology and Future, iUniverse, Inc., 2008 Kaplan, Dana Evan, Contemporary American Judaism, Transformation and Renewal, Columbia 
Columbia University Press, 2009 has a chapter on the early history and growth of Jewish renewal Badr, Michael J. 1994. Shame and Resistance to Jewish Renewal. Tikkun 9 6, 23. Arthur Vosco, Freedom Seder Holt and Reinhardt, 1969, These Holy Sparks Harper, 199, Godwrestling, Round 2 Jewish Lights, 1996, Down to Earth Judaism Morrow, 1997, Seasons of Our Joy Bantam, 1982, 3D Ed, Jewish PUBL SOC, 2012. Arthur Vosco and Phyllis Berman, A Time for Every Purpose Under Heaven Farrar Strauss and Giroux, 2002, Freedom Journeys Jewish Lights, 2011 Topic. External links Topic. Aleph Alliance for Jewish Renewal Ohala, the Association of Rabbis for Jewish Renewal